So I have this CRT TV that is a DVD TV combo, and it's about 15 years old. It really hasn't been used much in its life, but it's been kept in storage for almost that whole time. So uh, what I suspect has happened is that the the interior has gotten really dusty, including the lens, and I'm just showing you right now exactly how badly it works. If you saw the title, you know that this is a video to show uh, it's an experiment for uh, like a homemade uh, DVD uh uh, lens cleaner. I saw another video in which somebody did it, but they didn't actually show uh, whether it worked or not. And I'm intending to uh, slightly improve on the concept and uh, actually show you actually show you uh, the before and after, basically. You saw the little triangle in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I pushed play. It doesn't want to do anything. I'll try ejecting again. Put it back in. It's reading the disc. It really struggles to work, I gotta tell you. And it's worse with some discs than others. There are other ones I watched, never had a problem. And then there are ones like this one where it just will not, does not want to work. Yeah, so this is the, yeah, nothing. This is the before. Okay, there it finally wanted to go, but it struggled, so we'll watch it for a few minutes. For those of you who are wondering, it's Red Dwarf Season 10. See, first glitch right there. It won't even let me go to the menu screen. And it's certainly not going to let me play the episode. So I'm going to put this thing together. I'm not going to show you, uh, show it being made because it's pretty straightforward. I'll just show you how I made it and then we'll put it in and we'll go from there. Welcome back. So here it is. And obviously what I did was I just took some microfiber, cut it into a strip, and glued it to the disc. And obviously I used a, a disc that I don't want anymore. In this case, it's just a, like a five-minute long advertisement disc, so don't need it, don't want it. And I used super glue. And uh, not the prettiest job. Uh, the one I saw... And the other video looked nicer, but I think that this will do the job. I don't think it has to look particularly good. It's more about how it works. But I am a little nervous because that microfiber is pretty thick. And uh, I don't want it to get all, like, uh, out of balance in there and screw things up. I can hear it wobbling in there. I'll just wait until it <clears throat> until it says until it, uh, it rejects the disc because it will eventually. There we go. Well, it's still on there.
Now we'll try the red dwarf disc again. See if it's any better. Well, this isn't this isn't definitive, but at least it made it to the to the menu screen. It's a hell of a lot better than it did before, and it didn't uh, break the the Welcome DVD the drive either. Well. I don't want to speak too soon here. Um, try it yourself. Uh, I'll tell you what, in the description, if it turns out to uh, if it cause me problems uh, again, I'll mention that. Uh, I'll wait a little while before I publish this and I'll just, you know, try it out. And if it keeps working, I'll let you know. And then if it reverts back to the way it was, I'll let you know about that too. So, but from what I'm seeing here, it's looking pretty promising. I think that maybe. Maybe it might actually have worked, so stay tuned, and uh, well, obviously, you'll see it in the description by the time this is published what happened, but uh, stay tuned for uh, yet another interesting video from Captain Unusual.